Hello everyone, this is Tay. And this is Jay. And this is our weight loss journey. Weight, weight be gone forever. So in this video, um, we're going to give you guys some tips on how to start your weight loss journey. Some things that we did, which is some pretty good things because he's losing Oh, have lost over 90 pounds. I've lost over 50 pounds within um, only six months. Six months. So I think these are, we think these are some pretty good tips. So let's get right into the video. Tip number one. Tip number one is, I have notes on the phone, so that's why I'm looking down. So you have to change your mindset and make your uh, diet a lifestyle change. I don't like to call it a diet, but we're just gonna call it a lifestyle change. Um, you have to put it in your mind that this is what you want to do. You know, you have to lose the weight. You want to lose the weight. You want to look good. So just change it in your mind that this is what you're going to do. This is how you're going to eat. You're going to exercise at least, I don't know, three to four times a week, if that. And that um, goes for any diet that you're trying to do. What are you doing? The keto diet, you know, uh, what are you doing? No meat diet. What are you doing? Um, vegan or however you want to go about it i think all of them are okay everybody everything got their ups got their downs you just got to find what's comfortable for you but it got to be your mindset you got to tell yourself that you want to take your time it's not going to uh, happen overnight it did happen quick for us because i just went all in and you know <laughs> tried different different diets and i was one of the lucky ones that it started working for us and we see improvements right away but it's all about the mindset like she said um we, you have to want to do it because you know if you just you know people make new year's resolution in january oh this january i'm going to start going to the gym and you go for january and never go back so you have to change that you don't want to be on a diet you want to be you know a lifestyle change so that's what worked for us in the beginning all right and then and then we got tip number two and for me this is a big one because if you have a partner with you you usually <laughs> want to do more and that works for us a lot the fact that we do it together we live alone alone we cook we eat together we work out together we do it all together she have her own business i have my own business but when we come home we eat, we cook, so we know exactly what we go in the grocery shop for. It just helps when you're in a household and everybody is eating the same thing. That way you're not tempted to eat that kind of stuff. My mom is here now visiting and she's eating whatever she wants. <laughs> and, and sometimes she cooks the stuff and I want to try it. But, you know, I'm, I'm at the point now where it doesn't really bother me. But it, it, it can throw you off a little bit when you know the stuff, you know how the stuff is good stuff that you usually eat it's like you're on a diet trying to be low carbon and someone sitting in front of you every day and sitting there smacking down pizza you know <laughs> you're going to want to try it eventually so um it's good when you have your partner with you um that's doing the same thing um and i think that works for us because we work out together like we said we eat together i usually work out um a little bit more but she works out um at least four times a week I usually go five, six times a week, um, but we do everything together. When I'm working out by myself, she's sleep. I usually do early morning when she's sleep, and then we do it together in the afternoon. So I think that works out great for us working with a partner. I think that's that's awesome. Yeah, you have someone to um, hold hold accountable. You know, if somebody's not doing something or somebody don't feel like working out that day. You get them up. Come on, let's go. We're yeah, about to do Ms. this. Miss Sugar Rush. Miss Sugar Rush here. <laughs> always want to snack on um, fruit snacks and uh, I want ice fruit cream snacks, and all that. Cream. And I got to be all the one to tell her no because she think cause she's a little bit trim now that she can do what she want. But now I got to get down there so you're not going to be bringing that in the house. So we do that to keep on us. I'm the same way too. Sometimes I want to go to restaurants. Sometimes I want to eat some rice. Sometimes I want to eat some beef patty and cocoa bread you know it's just what it is but you know we got to stick to the diet and find different stuff to cook go to the grocery store meal plan um and buy a lot of food keep in the house you just got to have different stuff we do run out of stuff to eat sometime too but then we think about some stuff instagram is your friend make sure you follow us we always say that there's a lot of food ideas that we get from up there too from the people that we follow. And so if you don't follow us on Instagram, it's going to be right here. Make sure you go follow us. So that's tip number two. All right. Tip number three we have is take pictures throughout your journey. So like 
obviously before and after pictures when you first start your journey make sure you take some pictures of your body of yourself so you'll have something to look back on and say you know i don't want to go back there or see how far you've come progress um yeah your progress because your you your body changes a lot so once you start drinking the water get rid of the sugar you know you'll start seeing your midsection shrinking um, then everything else will follow. Some people start off with their face getting slimmer. Yeah, the neck area and all yeah. that. I don't we know was, where, where we, you started. Where you started seeing. We was uh, we was in um. I, I think I start right around my midsection because I had. I, mean, I still got a big stomach now, but I, I think it started around, right around right. my midsection, and I could see it like all my shirts that my old shirts start getting big, and I could. I mean, I just felt it, and then when I, I, I took like three months before I tried. Like took a before and after picture, so I was doing. I didn't do one until December, like the first week in December. We started in October, and I took some pictures in December, and then I compared them, and I saw the big difference. And I was like, uh, we put some pictures up here so you guys can see when we first started. I was in that red shirt, and we're gonna put that up there. But we do. We was here the other day, just chilling, um, sitting on the couch, looking on some old pictures that we downloaded from one of our old phones and, and we was comparing some pictures with her and we put it on, on the Instagram, just <laughs> face picture. We were looking at the pictures and to what we look like now. And I was like, oh. That's amazing. It's, it that's, amazed me. That's crazy. She put, it on, just, she put it on the gram of some pictures of me. We were... I it's mean, bad nobody told us, you know, we were a little on the chunky side. All our friends, <laughs> all our friends didn't say nothing to us. And tell us that we were a little bit chunky, but that's all right. We're still chunking yeah. out. Don't yeah, I couldn't tell us. We weren't going to be mad. Don't you know? get it twisted. We're still <laughs> chunking out. But the, the before, the pictures are important because it shows you that you're changing a little bit. And now I don't even compare the pictures from when I started. I try to start, I start comparing the pictures now from January. And I can still see a difference from the pictures that I was amazed um, amazed about in December. Now I compare those pictures to now and you can see a difference again. So I think it's amazing. So make sure you take pictures. Take a lot of pictures. Whether you want to take pictures with your shirt off, you don't have to show them with nobody. Uh, I, I take Just I take pictures. I take pictures in small shirts. Like I had, I had took a picture in a small shirt. I couldn't even get it buttoned. And then a couple months down the line, I can put it on and it fits great. It's just, it just gives you that mindset and that confidence that you're doing the right thing. So make sure you take pictures. And that brings you to the next point. And the next point, what we got? Get, uh, get a, a scale. scale. Of these clothes. A scale and, and, and get clothes. I like, I usually buy, I started to get smaller size clothes, but I, I went and bought a pants and a shirt that was smaller than me. And I told myself, I'm going to fit in it. I'm going to fit in that pants. I'm going to fit in that shirt. Now the pants is too big for me. I'm wearing the pants now and it's all baggy and I fit right in it. But the thing that helped me, I went and got a scale. And I know a lot of people said, don't fall in love with the scale. Don't fall in love with the scale. Don't wear yourself. But we wear every Friday. Yeah. It just helped. It just helped motivate me. Like I like seeing the numbers go yeah. down. Um and then I know when I'm when I'm when I start like strength strength training. Strength. Strength, strength training. And I start strength training. Lift the weights. Just start lifting weights. It's probably gonna go back up. But so then I'll have to get used to not going on a scale so much, but yeah, the scale. The scale, the scale really does help. When we first started, we had a scale, and it was embarrassing. We had a scale that that went up to four hundred. Um, one of them glass top scales that went up to four hundred. She was using it, and every time I go on the scale, it would say arrow. I was like, oh, <laughs> I could not weigh on the scale because I was four twenty. The scale maxed out at four hundred. So I went to Walmart. I bought a scale, one that went to five hundred. Paid like forty bucks for it or something. And that's when I went on the scale. That's the thing. I was already, that's what I said. I really don't know where my weight was at exactly. I just said 420 because when I bought that scale and weighed, that's what it said, 420. But I was already dieting for October for like yeah. two, three weeks before I got that scale. Because I was like on the little one, but well, it's not little, it's 400. But I was on that one waiting for it to, my weight to come below 400 so I can start weighing on it. But it wouldn't work. So I went and got that one and I was at 420. But I was already like two weeks into the diet. So I'm thinking maybe I was 430, 440, probably. I don't know. Who knows? I probably was a little bit more than 420. But that's why I started at 420 when we bought that scale. And ever since we bought it, I went on that scale religiously. 
<laughs> every Friday, every single Friday. And it's been going down and down. It went up a couple of times, but it's always when, like Thanksgiving, I gained like four pounds. Christmas, when we came back from Jamaica, three weeks vacation, had a blast. I went, I went up like three pounds. But other than that, it's always been going down, five pounds, four pounds, two pounds sometimes, three. It's just been going down, and that keeps us motivated. And her also, because she, she was... She was it was falling off her, and she was happy about it. Um, she got close to her weight that she needed to be now, so now she's getting those one pounds and two pounds, but we're still working at it. She's adding back more stuff into her diet. She's eating two times, and she's starting to eat a little bit of breakfast now, but not me. I'm sticking with the warrior <laughs> thing. You know what I'm saying? I got a ways to go, so we got you. All right, then. So our next tip um, is to start off slowly. Start your diet off slowly, you know, find something that works for you. <clears throat> if you want to do, um, like like I said, the crash course diets, they really, you just want to find something that sticks, that sticks with you, that works for you. Um, and the way we're doing it now, as far as the low carb, no sugar, drinking a gallon of water a day, like that's something you can stick to throughout your lifetime. Yeah. So you just want to find something that you can stick to. So change up your diets when you're first starting off you can try different diets and once you find something that you like that you know you're going to stick with then go for it yeah just take your time and get into it because like i said we didn't start um i didn't start off fasting i used to be hungry in the morning time when i first started um so before we started doing the fasting the intermediate fasting we used to eat breakfast in the mornings um eggs and bacon because we was doing the keto when we first started so we eat eggs and bacon in the morning um, if we get hungry for lunch, we'll eat like, I usually eat like beef jerky and yeah. string cheese and then I eat dinner in the afternoon and then little by little we keep pushing breakfast a little bit back, a little bit back. Then our breakfast was at 12 o'clock, you know, we break our fast at 12, lunch, so now it's two meals and then, you know, I start stepping it up, pushing it further and further back um, and we pretty much stayed at that for majority of the time. Sometimes like right now, because I'm so close to 100 pounds and I need to get to it. Not this Friday coming up, but the following Friday, I need to be at that 100 pound loss. Y'all pray for me. I'm going to get there. I'm go I got, I'm at 91 now. I'm going to get there, man. I got nine pounds to lose in eh, less than two weeks. Well, two weeks from Friday. So, yeah, it's two weeks, nine pounds. I'm working hard at it. But that's what you have to do. You have to, like she said, find something, stick with it. And 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 it's, it's going to take time. It's going to take time. Yeah, it's it's going to take a lot of time. You just got to keep working. Try and combine your meals. Try and cut a meal out first before you start cutting food out your diet. Try and just cut a meal out. You know, try and do the fasting first. The sixteen eight is what works for a lot of people. It's a good starting one. So look it up. Sixteen eight diet. Um, you eat eating windows eight hours and then you fast for sixteen hours. So. That works great because then you can get up at nine o'clock. You can eat from nine to five, eight hour window. And, and then little by little, you just close that window up until you get down to like four hours. And you don't have a lot of time to eat and you won't trust me. You will not feel hungry, but water is going to be your best friend. Drink your water, drink your water and drink more water. Yep. Water is, water is your best friend. All right. So our next step, meal prepping. Meal, meal prepping different meals and we mentioned that when we mentioned the first um point about you know working together as a family or with your partner whoever you um doing your workouts with it's good that you guys do meal prepping or know exactly what you want to eat we have a menu that we pretty much know what we're going to eat every week you know we have a small amount of a large amount of food because I'm from Jamaica, she's from America, she cooks some stuff, I cook some stuff, but it all works in our diet. Like I can cook different kind of chickens, she can cook all that good country stuff, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but we just cut out the potatoes and we cut out the rice and we do stuff like that. So all the meat I still love my grits. She still eat grits and cereal. Like She'd be rubbing it in my face because she can eat cereal, but who cares? <laughs> Nobody wants no cereal anyway. But, <laughs> but we 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 have a, a menu that we we try and we do try different stuff too. Don't get it wrong. But we have some some stuff that we is staple in our diet every week. Probably we always eating it. Eggs is 
pretty much in there. We do different stuff with eggs. Sometimes we'll make wraps, sometimes we'll make devil eggs. You know, salad every week, at least two times out the week, we are having a salad meal with either like fish or with chicken breast or something like that. But salad is, is gonna be big in your diet because you know, you eat salad, even if you eat it with another meal, if you eat the salad first, it gets you full and then you don't eat as much. So salad should be a staple in your diet too. But meal prep, go to the grocery store, buy, you know, stock up your refrigerator so you don't have to go to restaurants. When you go to work, take your lunch with you. Take lunch, you know, always take lunch. I'm, we're trying to get her mom on this journey and that's the problem with her because she, she won't, don't prepare. She don't prepare and then you go to work and then everybody there is eating. She worked right across the road from a Zaxby's. So there you go now, let's run to Zaxby's and get a chicken sandwich. You know, you have to meal prep, prep your lunch, take it to work with you. You know, if you got to take a banana with you in the morning or whatever to do to eat breakfast or to keep it, you know, just do whatever you got to do that works for you. But make sure you're eating the stuff that you want to put in your body, not stuff that you're forced to eat. Our next point, remove sugar, drink plenty of water. You already heard us say that plenty, plenty, plenty of times. No juice. Remove sugar, drink water. I don't know how simple that can be. Um, a gallon of water a day is what <clears throat> he has no problem drinking yeah. when I try to drink. <laughs> yeah, I drink. Uh, my bottle is about 40 ounces. Yeah. And I probably go through six of those a day easily. With no problem, <laughs> I can drink one of those in, <laughs> in one go. I can go. My bottle is like a forty ounce bottle, and I probably go through six, seven of those a day with no problem. Because I, I work outside, like I said all the time, and we stay pretty busy. So, yeah, the sugar will be a big point, and and that was a struggle for her. I didn't have a problem with the sweets because I'm I'm not a sweet person. Cakes and she owned a pastry business, so she always <laughs> making them chocolate covered strawberries and cupcakes and you know, but and not candy not apples. candy apples. What is you make it? I have to taste the stuff to make sure. No, it's, no you don't. I do to make sure I'm giving my customers uh, something that's up to their standards. She have a so. she have a she have a slushy machine though, bro. I'm telling you, bro, that slushy be <laughs> busting that. You put some alcohol in that. That's my problem. It's Alcohol. Yeah, that's his problem. I don't have a problem with that. That, that, that Hennessy got to get drunk, you know what I'm saying? So, no sugar. I used to drink my Hennessy with Coke, you know what I'm saying? So, they say no sugar, no soda. So, I just drink my Hennessy straight, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And that's the thing. I still I still drink. I don't drink as much as I used to. Don't get me wrong. Every now and again, I get a drink. And when I do drink, I do, you know, four or five drinks and... I get, pretty, just I get pretty I get pretty lit on Fridays when I weigh and I see I look good. I get my four or five drink and get <laughs> drunk up and go to sleep. Yeah, that's what I do. But I'm still losing weight. So that shows you that you don't have to cut everything out your diet. You can do some stuff in moderation, you know, as long as you don't get up and drink every day. I used to drink every day, no matter what. Um, but now I don't even I, I haven't drunk in the last two weeks and I won't drink until I get to this hundred. That's my punishment to myself no more drinking until i get to that 100 pound weight loss so the quicker i get to it i can get back to the hennessy you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least have fun with your weight loss journey you know don't beat yourself up if you gain a pound a week i mean it happens so. <laughs> it happens to the best of us just have fun with it don't beat yourself up and Remember if you, to if, reward yourself. Yeah, if reward yourself. And if you go to a party and, you know, they have cake there, don't feel like you can't eat no cake. Just don't eat a big piece, you know. Yeah. If you go, your friends are having pizza, you can have a slice of pizza. You don't have to, you know, eat. Have salad with your pizza. Have yes. a bigger salad. Hey, a bigger salad. If you order pizza, get some chicken wings. You can mm. you can eat, um, cause we eat um, buffalo chicken wings, you know, zero carbs on that. You want to try and cut your carbs down. Don't go look. Some people don't like keto because cut out all your carbs, low carbs. But try to keep your carbs when you first start under 100. You know, just try to keep track of it. And I have the Samsung Health on my phone. That's what I use to track my stuff. She don't have time for it. So I put everything <laughs> in my phone because she won't do it. So I have to track stuff for me and her on my phone. So we sometimes I don't really do everything by the exact number. We don't have a scale. We don't weigh our food and stuff like that. Yeah. So 
It's just that we know exactly what we're cooking. When we're cooking rice, we put it in a cup or we measure it, half cup of rice. When we eat stuff like that, so try and just keep measurements of your stuff. And little by little, like right now, my phone is every stuff that I eat, everything that we eat is in my phone. So when I go, when we're eating something, I pull my phone up and everything that we eat, I just go down the line and just click on the whatever we eat. I don't need to have to search for anything no more. Because like I said, we have a menu and we kind of stick to it unless we find something on Instagram that we want to try. Instagram is your friend. Yeah. Come find us on Instagram. We have so much food choices up there. We have so much stuff up there that you guys need to see. And we have fun up there too. We post some workout videos. I posted a workout video the other today and I was getting my strong on, you know. She was asleep when I was in the gym room getting my strong on. I feel healthy today. I had two workout sessions today. Two. I did. I did that. I did that. Yeah, so he's having fun with it, obviously. You know, me, I just, ah, whatever. No, I have nah, fun with it. Nah, yeah, she had fun. Oh, we went for a good walk this morning and then she was tired. But I wasn't tired. <laughs> So I came home and I kept my gym clothes on. I stayed outside the whole time. I never came in the house. We came back like 11 o'clock. I sit outside on the porch. You know, it's quarantine. You can't go nowhere else. We in the house every day. So I it's decided I wasn't. Was killing me. I decided I was not going to come in the house. So I was going to stay outside. I stayed outside the whole time until 5 o'clock. And then I went for a run and exercise again. And then I came in the house. She was in here. That's why she looked like this now. She was in here getting her makeup. She yeah, this is not every day. But if y'all yeah. wanna y'all wanna know how I achieved this, just let me know. I make the video. Yeah, but so just let me know. <laughs> yeah. So for sure, man. Just make sure y'all have fun with this. Keep it going. We're gonna have another video coming on Friday to let you know how much pounds I lose and I better lose a lot too I'm more than three because I've been doing it I've been eating one time a day OMAD diet since Sunday I've been eating one time a day I've been working out every day today is Wednesday we're making this video when you're gonna post it come tomorrow let's see so you probably see this Thursday so tomorrow I'll be doing another OMAD diet I'll be working out in the morning probably do another evening session and then I'll be waiting Friday and I better have at least three pounds gone. But if I don't, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> so thank y'all as always, man. As thank always. Thank y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget Share to subscribe. Share these tips with your neighbor and Share a friend. Share tips. Mama, daddy, cousin. And follow us on Instagram right there. See you I guys later. Peace.